Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Phoenix 8 Solar and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, uh, we can pair this watch with the Android phone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through these settings after the watch has been already set up because you can set up the watch without pairing it with a phone. First, I'm going to show you how to do it through the setup process, and then I'm going to show you how to do it through the settings. OK, so let's continue. Uh, first thing we need to do is to turn on our watch, and you can do it by pressing and holding the light button. Once you see the Garmin logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. And if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see the list of languages on the screen after the watch boots up. And here we have it. There's the list of languages. You can scroll through this list, find the language you would like to use on your watch. Once you find it, you can tap on it to select it. And as you can see, now we're being asked if we want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do it, so Let's confirm by tapping on the check mark or pressing the start button. And the watch will enter the uh, pairing mode. You can say uh, you can tell by the uh, basically QR code on the screen. And you can use this QR code to download the Garmin Connect application. But I'm just going to download it through the uh, Play Store on my phone. And to download the app, you will need to have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, uh, let me actually brighten up, brighten up the screen a little. OK. Once you do have the internet connection and Bluetooth, you can open the Play Store and tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in uh, Garmin Connect and then tap on search. And you should see this application on the list. Next to it, there's an install button. Tap on this install button to download and install the application. And once the application is done downloading and installing, you will see the open button and you can tap on it to open the app. In the app, you will need to log in into a Garmin account. If you don't have an account, you can uh, tap on this button, create account right here to make a new one and use it to log in. I already have an account, so I'm going to tap on sign in, check this box, tap next, and then I need to enter the email address and password. OK, and once we're done, we can tap on next to log in. And after you log in and you don't have any devices connected to your account, uh, the app will start searching for the nearby devices immediately, uh, or like right after you log in. But before that, you will need to allow some permissions. So tap on Allow Access, Allow. And now the app should start searching for the nearby devices, and it should detect your uh, Phoenix 8. If it doesn't, you can try it by pressing the uh, back button to exit the pairing mode, and then Start button to re-enter it and try to research because you will see the button search again or something like that on the on the phone and you can tap on that button to start searching and again once it does detect your watch tap on connected allow pair then tap on next and here we can set a uh, sleeping schedule. This is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep. So basically, you want um, to mute your watch or rather notifications on your watch during the sleep. Um, so you won't be disturbed during the night. And you can set it up by tapping on edit. And here you can set the bedtime, wake time, and select the days on which the schedule should be active. And uh, once you're done, you can tap on save, and then you can tap on next. Here we can select the preferred wrist and tap Next. And right here, we can allow the notification access. And this is useful if you want to receive the notifications uh, from your phone on your watch. So let's say you receive the notification from some application on your phone. That notification will be also sent to your watch, so you can view it on your watch. So if you want to use this feature, tap on Allow Notification Access. If you don't care, you can tap on Skip and skip it. Next, we have the location permission. And this is useful if you want to use features like local weather, uh, maybe tracking your route uh, on the map. Let's say you want you, you go for a run and you want to see your route on the map and stuff like that. If you want to use uh, features like that, allow the permission. If you don't care, you can keep it 
uh, disabled by tapping on skip. And if you tap on allow, it will redirect you to this page. And here you need to tap on permissions, find the location, tap on it, and then tap on uh, either allow only while using the app or allow all the time. Uh, if you select this one, the app will probably uh, bother you to allow it for all the time. I don't know why it does that, but it does. I'm just going to select this one and then go back. Next, we have the calendar access. I believe this is useful if you want to receive the uh, notifications about the events from your calendar and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to allow it, tap on allow and allow. Then we have call log access. This is useful for the notifications for calls. So let's say somebody is calling on your phone and the watch will vibrate. And if you allow re required permissions, it will also display the name of the contact number and stuff like that. So if you want to use uh, those features, allow the uh, permissions. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. Same for the phone call access and the messages. OK, now we can tap on sync now, finish. Here we have a tutorial how to use the watch. We can go through it by tapping on next button after it it loads. Well, I'm just going to tap on skip to skip this step and then finish. And right here we can add the Wi-Fi network to our watch. This is useful if you want to use uh, Connect IQ Store on your watch, basically Play Store for Garmin, uh, App Store, um, or you want to download updates and stuff like that. If you want to use any of these features and you want to use the Wi-Fi, you can tap on Add Network. If you don't care, you can tap on Skip or set up Wi-Fi later. I'm going to set it up now. As you can see, it detected the nearby networks. We can select one, tap here, enter the password. And then we can tap on Next. And if you enter the password correctly, it should connect to your network. Like this. Then we can tap on Next, Finish. And now you should see the uh, home page of the app. And on the top, you should see the icon of your watch. And if you tap on More uh, Garmin Devices, you should see your a Phoenix 8 right here on the list of devices. OK, and on the watch itself, you can also adjust the text size to your liking. Press the Start button. And you can also select the favorite activities. This is useful if you want to have a list of activities you want to start quickly. If you don't care, you can press the X to skip it, or the Down button, or press the Start button. And here you have the list of activities. You can select one. It's going to be added to your favorites like this, and then you can tap on Done. And if you want to open the favorites, you press the Start button on the home screen, then Activities, and here we have our favorites. OK. Well, as you can see, the watch is uh, fully work uh, like uh, working now. So basically, we have access to our functions and stuff like that. And it is right here in the app, which means that the devices are connected. Now I'm going to remove it. And we're going to connect it through, it through the settings. Uh, come on. Doesn't want to remove it for some reason. That's interesting. Is it because it's sending the update? OK, now it removed it. We can go to settings, remove it from uh, here, unpair. OK. And now we have this scenario. Let's say you have the uh, watch already uh, set up, and you want to pair it with a phone. It's quite simple. You just need to enter the pairing mode on your watch. And to do it, press and hold the menu button to open the menu, scroll down, find the option called connectivity, select it, then tap on phone, and then pair phone. And the watch will enter the pairing mode. Now you can download and install the Garmin Connect application and do the same steps as we did before. Or if you have the app already, and let's say you logged in, you can open the app and tap on the plus button here or more um, Garmin devices and add device. And it's going to start searching for nearby devices. It should detect your watch. And you can basically uh, go through the setup like we did before. Tap Finish, 
skip the tutorial if you can finish set up wi-fi later finish and the watch is here and if you go to more garmin devices it will be also here which means that devices are uh, paired together and that's how you pair this watch with the um, android phone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video